Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Toy Don, and tonight I am here with the man himself, Uberhawk. Say hi, Uberhawk. <laughs> oh, shit. What have I done? <laughs> I unleashed the madman, the Hulk, on everybody. <laughs> You're the one who paid the police to track me down. <laughs> You've only got a little time. What do you need? Well, I got some questions to ask you tonight. Uh, I want to see, I'm trying to put you in the spotlight. I know you don't like the light because you know it burns and all, but we're going to throw you in the light tonight. Is that okay? The darkness will always be waiting. <laughs> all right, so we're going to ask some questions and um, we're going to see, uh, find out who you are and why you're a collector and everything. So my first uh, question to you is, what fr franchises do you primarily like to collect? Vintage. Vintage TMNT uh, superpowers. Uh, Dick Tracy. Uh, the only new figures that I collect are Nightmare Before Christmas because Nightmare think about it <laughs> no horror no horror um i noticed you have uh some, some very rare figures like the blank um you uh do you have anything else that you are very you know are was, was looking for or or what would you uh, grail what would it be well i had a grail and it was supposed to be sent to me but instead now i must go on the revenge kick and hunt somebody down. Oh, I had a TMNT scratch and someone misplaced or stole it. So it would have been my grill. Yeah, I saw that. I'm, I'm very, very sorry to hear that it disappeared. You know, that would have been, it looked like it would have been epic. Yeah, that I mean, would have been my grill. It was complete, but, right? On the opposite side, I do have a LJN Ultimate Warrior, which oh. is a pretty rare uh, piece. So I guess I could take solace in that. <laughs> yeah, I mean your collection is epic. If you if they if you haven't checked out right. Uber Hawk's channel and seen his uh, epic, uh, items, you need to go check him out because, uh, to be honest, he's on par with a lot of other vintage collectors. And I I mean I'm very jealous of your collection for sure. Um, uh, let's go on to the second collect question. Um, how did you start collecting? How old were you? When did you first start collecting? I think it was a, you were a child, right? Yes, I had the I had the best parents in the world, and uh, uh, as a as a normal child, I was collecting and birthdays and things like that. So that is where I started collecting. <laughs> Yes. Well, you just uh, finished off one of your childhood collections, right? The, the the Batman movie collection. Is that correct? Yes, because I found the uh, Batcave at uh, Retro Madness, the store that I go, the three stores that I go to continuously in Texas. So there's a shout out to them. Shout out to Retro Madness in Texas. All right. All right. But um, <laughs> uh, yes, those are the stores that I go to. Yeah, that's cool. Um, I wish here in Charleston we really don't have anything like that. Um, there's one up, there's a, like a, a, a retro store up in Greenville, but that's way too far away. I wish we had something like that here because it's really cool, you know. Um, it's, it's nice that y'all have something like that where you can go, you know, buy retro toys at pretty good prices. Um, let's see. Uh, do you feel that collecting has changed in any way since you, since you started? Well, absolutely, because now all that you see on these multi-thousand sub channels is Walmart hunts, Target hunts. You know, it's it's not it's not. Hey, I'm going out and I'm going to find the best figure that I can. It's hey, how can I keep up with Nark? How can I keep up with Cincy Nark? Because they've got all these millions of of brand new figures no i don't do that i don't try to keep up with the joneses i try to keep up with myself 
Well, that's what makes your channel unique, you know. It makes I uh, enjoy seeing your when you go out and hunt and find retro stuff. Um, I'm a big retro head myself. I love vintage toys. Um, if let me ask you a question: If you could have had one toy made that wasn't made, you know, like out of the retro collections, you know, like something from Skeleton Warriors or any of the other lines, what what line? What, what toy would you, you know, have made? That is actually a pretty easy question. Kino from uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, mm -hmm. the uh, vintage TMNT line. I would have had Kino made. Um, do you um, ever th think about getting any of the like NECA turtles or any of the newer turtle stuff? Or you probably you probably aren't, 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 don't want any of that stuff, right? They're trash to me. Yeah. I don't knock anybody who collects them, but they are ripoffs to me. They are worse than a knockoff to me. So you know, you, you think they're repro, pretty much, if, no, they, if they're um, patterned off the old school stuff. They're not the true thing, then. Right, because yeah. you can you can go to any swap meet and find a thousand knockoffs. Mm -hmm. Now you can go to any Walmart or Target and find a thousand knockoffs of uh, those. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I um, I'm a, I'm both. I like old school and new school, and I I mean I have some of both in my collection. But I mean I don't knock you for that either. You know I mean if you if you're why not why wouldn't you want the original stuff? You know. Um, let's see what's the next. Uh, what is what, what what motivated you to start collecting? Was it your parents, or you just you just you know wanted to collect the stuff, or how did that come in, come into being? Uh, I wanted to start collecting uh, because my folks were nice enough to uh, give me these things as a child and who am I to disrespect somebody and their generosity so I just uh, uh, one day I was at work and um, uh, I thought you know I need a hobby I need a hobby I need a hobby I still had all my vintage uh, collection from whenever I was a kid so I took them all out, dusted them all off, and, and I put them on a shelf. And it's been it's been a downhill uphill from there. <laughs> well, that's like me. I mean, when I uh, I started collecting because I've always kind of collected comics and everything, and I, I love pop, you know toys myself. And I just picked up one from the um, from a flea market one day. It's like, man, this is cool. I'm a, I want to get stuff that I had when I was a kid. I sold all my stuff, which I was stupid. <laughs> you know, and so now I'm trying to get it all back. <laughs> you know, um, so I heard that you ran into uh, into Josh the other day. You want to tell us a little bit about that? Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> every year at the uh, DFW Toy Expo, I challenge and I threaten <laughs> a new YouTuber that I haven't met yet. Last year, I took down Cincy Nerd. The year before that, I took down uh, Not Another Retro Channel. Yep. Uh, along with that, I also took down uh, Boston Mike. Uh -oh. This year, it was Josh Pence's turn. Uh -oh. Next year, who knows? <laughs> you, you are warned if you're a toy collector. <laughs> the Uberhawk may come for you. <laughs> you may wake up and you'll be standing over your uh, bed. <laughs> World War Hulk. <laughs> Be like the nightmare has begun. <laughs> uh, what advice do you uh, give to a inspiring toy collector, or even an inspiring YouTuber? What, what what advice would you give them? Patience mm -hmm. is a virtue. Don't be the next Josh Pence. Don't be the next uh, Cincy nerd. Be yourself. Because there's already a million uh, YouTubers who are trying to collect the same stuff. Yeah, that's true. Be yourself. Have your own thing. Don't be a sheep in a world full of sheep. Be a shepherd. Lead the way. Show people how to do it. That is that's excellent advice. You know, don't be unique. I totally and absolutely agree with that. Um, do you want to show us any of your favorite toys? Do you have anything that you would like to show? Like show and tell? <laughs> uh, to be honest with you, I'm restrained right now. 
Oh, okay. And uh, I can't. I can't uh, at you, so I guess you can't get to you anything right now, huh? <laughs> um. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm. I'm actually in the isolation right now. <laughs> but they gave me. They gave me permission to use this uh, vulgar device that I'm on right now. So. Yeah, but I will say that uh, some of my prized possessions are the blank, are the Ultimate Warrior that I have, um, the LJN Ultimate Warrior. Mm-hmm. Let's see here. Um, uh, this, the uh, uh, Plastic Man cool. from uh, Superpowers because he's pretty ex- pretty expensive. Um, vintage G.I. Joe Snake Eyes. Let's see here. Hold on one second. Uh, cool. As I said, you know... That, that might not show you anything, but this is the isolation that I have been put in. <laughs> um, pretty cool, epic isolation room, man. <laughs> so, that that is just the top the top notch of my uh, isolation room so um yeah if uh any of those uh vintage uh, x-men vintage uh superpowers yeah that's <laughs> that's my world um i can see the love you know um, it, with you know vintage you know I, I know that you love that stuff so that's great well uh, this was uh collector spotlight as I said, thank you, Uber Hawk, for ha- ha- you know being here. And um, I guess uh, it's almost time for you to go. <laughs> uh, I hear the police over there are, uh, getting ready to uh, put you further into jail in the isolation room. <laughs> uh, the isolation. I have been, I have been given 20, 25 minutes to to be out of isolation before before I'm put back under so <laughs> let me just say this in closing okay i got my revenge on the son of a on the person <laughs> who dared to cross the uber hulk <laughs> would you like to hear a tell <laughs> uh, i had a package that was supposed to arrive in the mail last week the package showed up with a hole in the side. Well, the package was empty. So I went. Uh, I shouldn't have gone to this DFW toy show where I met up with Josh Pence because the pain was there. The heartache was there. So I walked around for about 20 minutes I didn't buy a single thing. I left and anonymously as my revenge for getting ripped off just to feel normal. I paid for the next 25 people to enter the DFW Toy Expo just so I could feel normal again. (laughs) That's that. That is a true story. Ask Narc about it. That, well, that's, that was nice of you, man, for real. Uh, that, I mean, I bet you people were very happy to be able to get in, for sure. You know? Do but, uh, you know of a YouTuber named uh, Shady J? No, I don't know him. I have to look him up. Uh, what about him? All right, well, he's the one that put on the, uh, the show, and uh, me and him are friends. Mm-hmm. And he found out about it, and he said, man, you didn't have to do that. And I told him, just like you. I had to, yeah. Because if I didn't, I were, I was about to snap. Mm. So I had to, I had to turn that dark into light. If you understand what I'm saying. Oh yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm just saying that's you know epic of you, man. I mean that shows how much heart you have, man. You know I'm serious. I mean that's that, that sounds like something that personally I would do, you know and that's really cool of you you know I, I know you made some people happy i mean and it's because you have your pain of not getting what you you know we're supposed to get um i hope that you can find that figure again you know and it becomes part of your collection be sure uh, because you deserve it you know what i'm saying 
And uh, I am, you know, you, you and me are, are friends, you know, so I'm always rooting for you, you know that? So it's all good. And I, I mean, that's really cool, <laughs> to be honest. A really cool story. Um, but uh, I, I'm, I appreciate you being on here with me for sure. Um, and uh, you'll have to, if people here will definitely need to check out your channel and subscribe. And, and we, we need to get you to that thousand subscriber mark and beyond because you deserve it as well. I, you know, I, I am not a YouTuber for uh, subs. Yeah. I am a YouTuber for the hell of it. Yeah, just so it's, it's a hobby. So that's what I feel too. I mean, I'm, I'm here to, you know, uh, give people entertainment, and also here to make friends like you and you know everybody else I've made friends with. And you know, on my channel growing, it's just a side effect to me. That's how I feel of this, you know. Uh, and I know uh, you're you're here to do the same, you know, to make friends. I mean, me and you. I mean, there was one time. When me and you were the only, we, you had a live stream going, and me and you were the only person in there, and we were la like we're doing right now, laughing our asses off. <laughs> <laughs> you telling me a story about the when you were uh, zombie hawk at the at the <laughs> Yeah, uh, those so, were good times. <laughs> so, you know, that's what this is about, man. You know, uh, making friends. You know, having fun. That's why I like. That's why the reason why I do this is because I'm not here to impress anybody to be honest uh, if you don't like me oh well <laughs> but i'm here to meet people like you and and and, la and laugh and have fun that's all i'm here for i don't you know so me like i said before me and you are on the same page on almost everything you know uh, i love like you see i love the hawk and your name is uber hawk so <laughs> <laughs> so it makes sense oh, shit. i was told once that i was too creepy to subscribe to and I take that as a huge compliment so thank you well I mean <laughs> you, you're uh, to me you're kind of a horror based channel you know and right now they're incredible hawk uh, it, you know it's a horror comic so <laughs> it makes sense so that's funny you know but uh yes it, this is fun and um, I appreciate you being on and we'll uh, talk to you everybody next time you got anything else to say before we leave sub or don't <laughs> <laughs> but if you do sub to my channel just know that you will be one of my freaks and i treat all of my freaks i protect all of my freaks <laughs> <laughs> sub if you want don't yeah. sub if you don't want to Give him a situation. I don't care. <laughs> Go ahead and give him a sub. He deserves it. And until next time, keep popping those tags, and we'll catch you later. Peace. Oh,